Thirty-three-zero. All right, we're on the Grouse Mountain Sky Ride. I never learned how to take a picture with my phone. Here we go. Here we go. I like looking this one. This is the light. Right here. Right here, guys. See all of us. What's that time down there, Toronto? Oh, Vancouver. Sorry about that. This is like Snowbird. But Snowbird, you get a lift. <laughs> there is a scooter. <laughs> wow, it's like a roller coaster. Yes, it is. Not this one. There we go. Here's Tim down there. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? We were right. We started right there. There's the Victoria. Two ago. <laughs> Pretty neat. That's, uh, I think you can run for a good view. Are we going down? Ladies and gentlemen, we're just passing over the water habitat. If you like a closer look at the woods, as you come back down to exit, you would walk across the car parking lot. There's a footpath that would take you up to the wolf habitat. Oh. Wolf habitat. Oh, wolf habitat. I don't know if I want to go to the wolf habitat. I don't know if I want to go to the wolf habitat. But it shouldn't be. Okay. Is it that big? Is that big or so right now? I've seen more as many hikers come up with cuts and bruises on their legs. Yeah. I've also only heard of people breaking bones on there. That's the road we came up in Capilano. Yeah. Oh, that's their that's their Capilano oh, water dam. That's our water shed. Wow. Hey, I see my house. That's what we drink. Yeah. Oh yeah, your house is like <laughs> way <laughs> over there. <laughs> way <laughs> over there. A few more minutes of your time. That's the See the yellow dot over there. We do mission tickets today. That few complimentary activities. The theater and the sky inside the main chalet is showing two shows. The first show is called Born to Fly. This is Canada's first high definition presentation. This gives you a brief history of Grouse Mountain and a scenic overview of southwest British Columbia from an eagle's perspective. The show is every hour on the hour. Every hour and a half hour, we are proud to present Discovery Channel's animal tracks. We show the story of our two grizzly bears, Grinder and Cooler, and the journey of Grouse Mountain Refuge for endangered wildlife. Also, the snowshoe park is open and snowshoe rentals are still available. Once again, these activities are complimentary with your admission passes today. For those who are visiting us for the first time, just behind us here in Milas is Kapilana Lake. Kapilana Lake is a man-made lake that provides Vancouver with one third of its fresh water supply. Over to the left, Kapilana Lake is enclosed by the Cleveland Dam. And one mile down that river valley is the Kapilana Century Bridge and the Salmon Hatchery. Mm. Further out to the left, we can see a bridge crossing over. That's Lionsgate Bridge. Excuse me. It's Lionsgate Bridge. And Lionsgate Bridge crosses the Barrow Inlet, which is one of the busiest harbors on the west coast. Lionsgate Bridge crosses over into Stanley Park, which is a thousand acres in size, home to various wildlife, nature trails, picnic areas, and beachfront areas. Over to the left of Stanley Park, the high-rise buildings you see make up the core of the downtown area. Place of Vancouver has an estimated population of two million people. Just in front of those buildings is Canada-based cruise ship terminal. This is the building you see in the harbour front there with the white sails on top. Each of those white sails represents one of the Canadian provinces. Back over to the right-hand side of Stanley Park, we see the ships and tankers, that is English Bay. Beyond that is Point Grey with the University of British Columbia as a game. So Ladies and gentlemen, just to make you aware of it, but to the first two towers as we pass through this tower, this tram may sway, so please steady yourselves. On a clear day, you can see right across the Strait of Georgia and make out the mountains of Vancouver Island. <laughs> if, you guys have any more, if you guys have any questions for me on the way out, do not hesitate to ask. My name is Zach. I'll ask you a question as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of the ride out. Yeah, when you leave the, um, this is crazy, huh? Man, you see, uh, Stevens. Well, I guess that was halfway when we passed that thing. Oh, here's the other blue lift. I'm going to leave you guys there. Oh, yeah. Now, every, I thought we're leaving every 15 minutes. Oh, okay. And so, like, that's coming down. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you. What's the deal? Yeah, you can stay up there. You're already seeing it. What do you mean, eh? I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Hi. Yeah, don't know. What do you think of it? Well, we're extremely high up. Yes, we are extremely high up. It would be a hell of a ride if it fell off. Oh my god, there's snow! Yeah, there's snow! No wonder I was cold. Yeah. Well, most of it's melted, but yeah, there's still remnants of snow. Look at that. Capilano River. Lake. Lake. Yeah, there's the dam. 
Let's see where we're going. So the lifts are behind us. Wait, you get off. That's that's not actually the highest speed device. Look at that. So that ski is going to be a little more mellow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Something like that. You really look up and see the main ski slope. That's 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 the problem is the resort doesn't have it because it's all up here. Yeah. For, for people living in that neighborhood, that, that's that, awesome. that looks like lifts right there, too, or it's just going. Oh, there you go. See how steers are. Huh? The next one over is right here. This is just, that's a bone path. This is wires. Yeah, you can see it. What do you need? It's not that still. It's still quite a bit of snow. How long are they ski here till like March? Uh, yeah, I don't think Hey, Jamie, May 12th. Look at all the snow. Yes. Makes me want to go to snow. Hey, Jamie, we're going to go to the second time. Imposter, this time is going to spice if you study yourselves. Oh, here we are. This is, this is where the restaurant and everything is. Make sure you're not going to the main chalet. Inside the main chalet, you will find the fine dining restaurant, the observatory. You can serve at nightly from 5 p.m. and available for reservations. Or for more casual atmosphere, you've got your Altitude's Bistro. It's obviously me there. The Dixon's Bistro is the only place in the mountain where you're allowed to smoke. It's for the comfort and safety of all our guests. Inside the main chalet, you will find the two gift shops where you can buy various accessories and grass mountain merchandise. There's also a theater in the sky. The next showing is on in 22 minutes. Hmm. Please keep a hold of your tickets and passes. We can show these again on the way down. The bears are out in their habitat as you leave the main, main building. Just follow the signs around to the habitat. Hmm. As we come in the dock, please exit from the doors across from the iron. Please mind your step on the way out. Thank you very much for listening. Enjoy your time at Grass Mountain.